Hi everyone! It's been a while since my last video. A lot has happened these last few years for everyone. For me, I've been focusing on my health and because of that, I've had a lot less time and motivation to do art. I haven't finished much artwork and I haven't had much to post, so that's why I haven't really been online much. When I do get a chance to sit down and draw, my favorite thing to do is sketch in my sketchbook. These last few years, I really fall in love with sketching in my sketchbook again. I feel like it's the one thing keeping me drawing. Today's video is going to be a video of me sketching in my sketchbook. You'll see me filling a page in my sketchbook and as I'm doing that, I thought I would talk about a topic while you see me sketch. This video is also kind of like a peek into my day. In the last few years, I changed my lifestyle and my priorities, but unfortunately that means a lot less time for art. On a good day, I try to sketch whenever I can throughout my day, even if it's just a few minutes, because I feel like sketching has become my me time. It's that one thing I do every day that makes me feel fulfilled and, and fills my soul, I guess. It's not always easy to make time or find motivation to go sketch though, but I really enjoy it when I do sit down and sketch, so I try to carve out as much time as I can. But I really struggle with motivation a lot, so for this video, I thought we'd talk about motivation. Motivation is really difficult for me most of the time. There are days when I have lots of time to draw and no mood to draw, <laughs> and other days when I'm absolutely itching to draw the whole day, but I never end up having time to actually go draw. Unless art is your full-time job, it's not always easy to make it a priority. So to spell it out, when I'm talking about motivation, I'm not just talking about getting up and doing art, I'm also talking about making time to do art, making art time a priority in your day, as well as getting in the mood to do the artwork when you do sit down and draw. So when it comes to motivation, I think the first thing that I do to make it easier when I do have time to draw is to eliminate as many barriers as possible. For example, having my art desk clean and organized so all I have to do is sit down and draw is a big one for me. It might not be for you, but for me, I really like to have everything ready to go so I don't have to worry about anything. For me, my space needs to be clean and tidy so I can fully relax when I sit down to do art. It might sound dumb to say it out loud, but if I throw a few things on my desk throughout the day thinking I'll put this away later, it can be just enough of a barrier to make an excuse not to draw because first I need to clean up and find a place for everything that's on my desk. You get what I mean? So keeping my desk clean and tidy and ready for the next drawing session is an absolute must for me. Along that same thought, after I finish a drawing, it's become a routine to clean up and reset for the next one. It's become quite cathartic for me. It's kind of like a ritual I do at the end of a drawing session to get ready for the next drawing session that just makes me feel like really good. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like a clean slate. You're ready for the next session and it just feels good to have my desk clean and ready. And that may require you to kind of put up barriers uh, against other people in your household, make sure they respect your space. And sometimes you have to just advocate for yourself and just be like, okay, this is my space. Don't put anything on it. It needs to be clear and ready, which I know is not always easy. <laughs> Next, I find setting the mood in my space can be super important too. So first I would start by putting on some nice music. Usually I really enjoy music, but I mean, sometimes when I'm in the mood, I'll also choose a podcast or a video or listening to a live stream while I'm sketching. Those things can really make all the difference to either change my mood or help keep me focused or just in general keep me entertained while I'm sketching. So I would highly recommend. I think that's a must. Do not skip this step. I also think where you draw can help change your mood and keep you motivated. I like to decorate my desk with these cute little figures that I collect or dolls and I like to collect art supplies as well, frankly. So I like to put my art supplies on my desk, organized and like easy to reach. Most important is easy to reach and easy to see. So I will use them more often. Um, and it just makes me feel happy when I look at my desk. So I think that kind of thing can really have an impact on you when you're trying to be creative, especially. Um, it might be different for other people. Perhaps they would want to set up their desk with candles that give you an ambiance or put artwork that inspires you on your wall. I used to do that when I was younger. The only reason I don't do it now is because uh, the walls here are a bit different. It's hard to stick things on there. <laughs> Another thing I did recently was last Christmas, I felt like my space was kind of 
lacking something. So I had these extra Christmas lights and I decided to put them in here over my monitors and over my light. And it really gave a really cozy vibe to my desk and I absolutely love it. So I kept them year round and they're perfect because they also plug into a USB um, thingy. So it's like right on the end of my power strip, I have an open slot. So it just gives us really cozy vibes, especially when I'm sketching at night, which is the probably the most time I have to sketch is at night. So I will have my Christmas lights on or fairy lights as people say in the UK, which is way cuter by the way, fairy lights. <laughs> and then I put my overhead light on low and I just sketch in at night. It just really helps to de-stress me because my, my space is like cozy and I have like nice music playing. It's just getting you in the mood to do the art and keeping you focused on the art is really important. So highly recommend trying to make your environment when you're trying to do art more enjoyable if possible. Of course, I know not everyone has the luxury of a dedicated art space. I totally get it. I didn't always have it either, especially when we were moving around and we were renting rooms. It's not easy. Um, but in that case, I would highly recommend keeping some kind of a container or bag with your sketchbook and whatever your sketching supplies you would like to use or all organized inside and ready to go. So whenever you have a few minutes to yourself, you can just grab your box or grab your bag or whatever container you have and just sit down somewhere and start sketching. And I mean, you could even put little decorations inside if you want, like decorate the area a little bit before you start sketching if you have that kind of time. And that way it's like, even when you don't have a dedicated space, you could still be making time to sketch and making time to have your me time. Sometimes even when I'm feeling tired or let's say the family is watching a movie and I really want to watch with them, but I also really want to sketch, I'll just grab my sketchbook and a couple of my pencils and go sit on the couch and sketch. That way, two birds, one stone, right? <laughs> you get to enjoy the movie, but you also can sketch along. And it just, it helps. It helps to sketch a little bit every day. It always adds up. So next, when I'm finally sketching, I try to keep my expectations. I know it sounds kind of bad to say it out loud, I keep my expectations low. And I think it's really important to do that, especially if you haven't been drawing very often recently, or you have like an issue where you put yourself down a lot. I can relate. <laughs> um, it's really important to not worry about those things, especially those things you see other people talking about and floating around the internet. Things like always drawing the same thing, always using the same colors, always have drawing the same face. It doesn't matter, don't care don't care. It doesn't matter if all you ever draw is mermaids, draw another mermaid. If you only ever draw witches, draw another witch. It does not matter. Just draw whatever comes to you, even if it's the same head tilt that you always do or the same face you always draw. It doesn't matter. Just draw whatever comes to you. It's a sketchbook, so it's okay if, well, actually, even if it isn't a sketchbook that you're drawing with, it's okay if it isn't groundbreaking. It's okay if it isn't inspiring. It's okay if it isn't even good. We all have off days. We have those days where for some reason that day, you just can't draw that other eye or you just can't draw hands that day. You've completely forgotten how to do it or your proportions are all over the place. It doesn't matter because most important is that you just sketch and have fun because the more you do sketch, the easier it will be the next time you sit down and sketch. It really does add up. So I would highly recommend just turning off that mean person in the back of your head that's saying all those rude things and just sketch. Don't care. Whatever comes to mind, just have fun with it. There are some days though when I have already gotten past the need for the motivation. I'm sitting down, I'm drawing but it's just not coming out or I don't really feel like drawing or I don't can't think of anything to draw that day. So maybe I'll swatch colors or I'll look around my room and find a dollar figure that I like and I might draw that or draw just the pose or I'll go on Instagram and take a look at my saved posts for inspiration. I really like to follow gothic and fantasy models on Instagram and I like to save the posts that I think are really inspiring and really nice. and. I will sometimes take the pose of that picture and like try to to mimic it in my own style, but then add my own details, like draw a different face, a different hair, a different outfit, for example. And that's one thing you can do. And then you will have completed the sketching for that day. It, it really helps to continue sketching even when you're not in the mood so that you kind of continue with the routine. 
Another thing I might do if I really feel like painting that day, for example, I might like just paint blobs on the paper and then later try to make something out of them with pen or I will go back through my sketchbook and I really like doing this in the last few sketchbooks that I've had. I'll find something that I've sketched in just black and white or just one color and I'll slap some paint on that and kind of finish the drawing. So that's always good too. That's you don't always have to finish everything 100% because it's kind of like save it for later. Maybe one day you'll be in the mood to paint and there's something you can paint inside your sketchbook. The last tip I can think of for motivation is kind of treating yourself. Making sketching time a me time experience or an indulgent might be what you need to motivate yourself to make time to draw. For example, maybe using that fancy sketchbook that you are too afraid to use, like just start using it. or Maybe you'll use your favorite art supply that day or a new supply that you just got that you were itching to try out. Just see what see what happens in your sketchbook. It doesn't have to be amazing. Or it could be making your favorite drink to kind of like have something nice to drink as you're sketching. Or you could light a really nice candle to have like a nice smell or incense if you're into that as well. Whatever works for you, whatever kind of treat you need to kind of make the experience of sketching a really nice experience for yourself so that it's something that you will want to do more often. Motivation can be tricky though because it's different for absolutely everyone and I think with anything it's important to really pay attention to yourself and find out what does and doesn't work for you. And if you do have any more tips on motivation and if you feel like sharing those please do leave them in the comments. I'm sure that would really help someone else out there. So these are my tips for motivating myself to get up and draw even when I feel really tired because life, just because life. I hope that this video helped in some way and if not, I hope it was at least entertaining. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if it was. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.